If this noise annoys you as much as it does me, you may want to check this out. The Logitech M590 Silent Mouse. Ooh. Why does the mouse sound like a ghost? Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. Now in this one, we're looking at something a little bit different. We normally look at audio and video gear and I give you tips and tricks and tutorials all about recording music and video. However, today we're looking at a mouse. So why am I doing this? Well, here's the thing. I do a lot of tutorial videos and live streams and every time I click my mouse, you hear it. So what I was looking for is a mouse that doesn't have that clicky sound. So I go onto my Google and I search and voila, Logitech M590 silent mouse. So in this video, I'm gonna put this little sucker to the test. Now, before I rip into this packaging, let's go through the specs really quickly here. This is a USB and a Bluetooth mouse. You can use it on either standard and it is multi-device, meaning you can connect it to two different devices and alternate between the two. There are links down down in the description. So if you do want to pick one of these up, once you've had a look at the review, you can jump down there. Now, thankfully, Logitech have given us this easy open packaging so I can just get my finger in there and not cut myself to shreds. Sorry, that's a really unpleasant noise, isn't it? There we go. We are in like that. And then we should just be able to... Okay, so I thought it was easy. There we go. We are in. We have the mouse. Here it is, there you can see it is a, it's a right-handed mouse, so that's one thing to know. It's gonna fit in your right hand. If you're lefty, yeah, you're not gonna be really doing too well because what we have here is two buttons on the side. We've got our scroll wheel, which is also a button on top. And that's reasonably quiet, but let's give it its very first click test. Okay, that's not bad. You can hear it, yeah? But when I've got it down here on my desk, we're gonna go click. Click, click. I'm not hearing much up here. The proof will be what gets into the microphone here, but so far, so good. Let's compare this to my existing Microsoft mouse. Here's my clicks here. There's that click sound that we all know and hate. And here is the new Logitech Silent. Definite improvement. Now Logitech say it is a 90% improvement. So they've got some bold claims here. We shall see because I'll be testing this one out over the coming days and weeks and months and you'll be hearing it and seeing it right here on the channel. So make sure that you're subscribed so that you can find out exactly how it goes. Let's now plug it in and get it happening and see how it goes, hey? So I'm gonna go out on a limb and suggest I need to pull down on this arrow that says down and see what happens there. There we go. Pulls out a little battery compartment, I'm assuming, that was keeping the batteries so that they're not actually using power. Yes, there we go. We have what looks like one AA. We'll just confirm that. Yes, one AA battery in there doing power duties. We've got the little, uh, little bottom section there that we'll put back on. Now, I didn't see the unifying receiver, so let's have a dig around. It may be inside. It may be somewhere else. Let's find that. Oh, it's right there, right there in the center. That's a very convenient place for it. There you go, there is the unifying USB receiver. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll plug this into the PC I'm using to record this right now, and then I'll throw it on the ground and we will see how it goes. So I'm going to assume you know what a USB receiver being plugged in looks like. So I'm not gonna set up a separate camera, but if we reach down, we'll plug that in to my USB port and we'll make sure that this actually comes together. It says on my screen here, setting up the device, that standard Windows thing. Our light has gone solid green and you can't see it, but I've got a very nice smooth scrolling action here on my screen. So let's bring up my screen now and put this to the test. Okay, so I'm moving my mouse around the desktop. It is very smooth. It's actually kind of silky smooth. I kind of like it. Logitech have installed or has told me that we should install their software. So why not? Let's click on that one to install your software, Logitech. Let's do a few button clicks here while that's happening. I'll click the left button here. I'm clicking it repeatedly. And now I'll click the right button. You can see it popping up on my screen there while it installs. We'll do a scroll wheel. So the scroll wheel, you can still hear a little bit if I, especially if I, if I give it a bit of that, you can hear that, but compared to the normal clicking sound I'm getting, it's not, it's not terrible. Oh, we've got this one here. We'll just go, yes, we do trust you Logitech. It's not terrible, um, but it, it, yeah, it, it's actually good. Like I can still feel the clicking sound. I can still 
feel it under my finger. I thought it would be like really soft and spongy. It's not. It's still clicky, but it's almost like it's got a shock absorber in there that it's not actually making a clicky sound. Let's bring it right up here next to the microphone. Just listen to that. That is all we get. It's barely showing up on my monitor here, on my on my mixer. So that's very, very cool. Uh, let, let's have a look through, while we're here, let's look through these Logitech options. Uh, let's install the Logitech options. We won't share our analytics data just for now. We're gonna go ahead and install this, but that's pretty cool. And what I'm assuming is the button on the top here is actually gonna change us between our different devices. And that's the other thing I do wanna test. I wanna try this out as a Bluetooth mouse, Bluetooth, Bluetooth mouse on my iPad. So while this is doing this, let's jump over and test that out. So here I have my iPad Pro and what I could do is use my lightning to USB 3 adapter, plug in that unifying USB adapter and use this as a USB mouse. But I wanna put it to the test as a Bluetooth mouse, which means I have to read the manual and work out how to do that. So let me do that and then I'll come back and we'll test it together. Okay, so I found the very simple instruction sheet on the back of the cardboard sleeve here. It is telling me what to do. It seems that I just need to select the second option here and then hold down to pair. It seems to be flashing, so it's probably gonna pair for the first time straight away. So I've just tapped that button. It's on number two. Here I am in my iPad now. What I'm gonna do is jump into the settings here and show you how we can set up a Bluetooth mouse. And here we are in the iPad. Now you would assume that to connect this, we tap on Bluetooth here and go in and add a Bluetooth device. That's not the way mice work in iOS. And if you wanna find out more, there's a video linked up the top and down in the description as well. What we actually need to do is come down to accessibility because mouse control is an accessibility feature. We need to tap on touch here and come into assistive touch. Make sure assistive touch is turned on. And then we need to come down and actually add in our new device. So if we scroll on down to devices and tap on that one, we can see here, Bluetooth devices is there. We tap Bluetooth devices and that is not showing up. So it looks like it's flashing here, but it's not showing up yet. Let's try holding down on this button and seeing if that's going to give us the ability to put this into Bluetooth pairing mode. It's flashing again now, the devices is spinning. Let's cross our fingers and our toes and hope that this is actually going to work. Okay, so what I've done here is I put it back to number one and then paired it. And now you can see here, we've got the M585 or 590. The 585 is just the non-silent version of this one. Uh, would we like to pair it? Yes, we would. We will tap on pair and this should connect us. And now because I've already got my settings here, there we are. I have my mouse here ready to go. All of my settings are good and I can click around. Let's do some clicks. Yeah, look at that. I'm clicking around in here and we can barely hear a thing. So working perfectly again on the number one setting here. Let's uh, switch back to number two, and then I'll make sure that I can connect that back to my PC. Okay, I'm jumping back in here at the end because I've resolved the problem, and you know what it was? I had to turn it off and on. So I was trying to sync it up to multiple devices. I loaded the software on my PC and it said, oh yeah, you're having trouble? Just turn it off and then turn it back on and you'll be fine. So now it is beautifully syncing with both my iPad and my PC and it's working flawlessly, switching between the USB unifying receiver and the Bluetooth connection on my iPad. So would I recommend the Logitech M590 silent mouse? Yes, once we overcame my user error not reading that I should turn it off and back on if I was having pairing issues, then we're good to go. And now I can just switch between my PC and my iPad Bluetooth mode and USB mode with no problems at all. And I'm actually loving these very quiet buttons. This is really gonna be a game changer, I think, for my tutorials and live streams. No longer will you hear the clickety click of my mouse. Maybe we'll miss it, maybe not. Check the links in the description if you wanna pick one of these up. If you've got comments or questions, you can leave those down there and I'll see you next time.